All right, Mike. Here you go. I've got the soap mold. I drilled holes on both sides of it so it could wrap around the limb. Also drill another hole off to the side, thinking that if I needed to water it, I could take a large syringe or a baster or something like that and inject water into it there. I found out normally in most cases that just uh, when I'm watering plants, the water will go down through here. Okay, but that's still not a bad thing to do. Don't matter what media you use, I happen to have cocoa core that I leave out here and it's moist, not wet, and by that I mean no water should rinse out of it when you squeeze it. So squeeze it in your hand as tight as you can. Pack both sides of your soap mold. Pretty full. You're going to lose some of it when you put water down into it, some of it will come out the bottom. But nothing wrong with it being tight. So, there you go, that's easy enough. Now, take a little uh, rooting hormone, dust it down to both sides of it. If you use Clonex or liquid stuff, just pour a little bit right in there. Just like that. And that's it for that part. Okay, here is a little limb. And speaking of that, I have these soap molds in a couple of different sizes. From this one, that's probably an inch and a half all the way up to about four inches. So little limb, little soap mold or Christmas ball, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, big limb, bigger ball. But this is a limb that I would normally have to prune off later on in the year. So I'm just going to take it and rough up that cambium, get all the way through the cambium and down to, to the white part. And it's okay to do it on both sides. But again, if I do something stupid here and I forget to water this and it all dries out and, uh, you know, just something that I forget about, the limb will still live versus if you girdle it and cut all the way around it the limb will die. Uh, so if I forget to do something with this, I can come back and restart it. All right, just kind of set her up from the bottom right there. If you want to be a little more particular, make sure that the rims are clean on this so that it'll snap together pretty easily, especially this inside lip. That's the one that'll get you the problem. Just kind of line them up, pull it together, At this point, don't matter where you twist it or turn it, just whatever you got to do to snap them together, that's it. Now, I've let them do this without even wrapping them uh, in anything, and they've done fine. Uh, however, I've had some of them to expand and fall off, so it's better, and I see I just adjusted that one and it fell off. It's better just to wrap a piece of tape around them. And that's easy enough to do. Just to keep those two pieces together, and I didn't cut that long enough, but that's fine. And then, since these things can spin pretty easily on here like this, I don't usually have a problem with it, but it really makes sense to secure that thing to where it won't spin whether you do it accidentally or the you know the limb moving can do it so you wrap another piece of tape around like into that or something similar to it and that keeps it uh, that keeps it a little more secure Keep your knife handy to do your tape. And then, five, I think today's the 18th. There you go. 
Just that easy. 